the sun is just coming up and I'm getting an early start on fishing today. The reason for this is the lake is turning over. So the, the warm water from the top is actually turning over to the bottom of the lake, bringing that, that cold water up. This means that the water is warming up just a little bit. So at least this is my understanding of it. So that, in my opinion, that means that the midges are gonna be hatching a little early. Also with the lake turning over, the water is a little more cloudy. Um, this is good though. This is actually a good thing. That means that I can actually up the size of my midges a little and I can uh, fish maybe a little heavier tippet. This could be the chance for me to actually get a, uh, a good sized trout and not have the hooks rip out. We have a blizzard coming tomorrow and stay for... Uh, it looks pretty open-ended. This is why today is kind of my only day to fish. I've got a net a good size trout. I just have to. No questions about it. Today is the day. I haven't been able to fish for two weeks with my shoulder. I could barely even move it. Um, I'm getting some more movement out of it now. Uh, I took an naproxen this morning and uh, Tylenol. Hopefully that'll help. If you remember that last video, I had a lot of trouble towards the end. I, I'm sure you could see where I was really gimpy with casting I just I had to move my whole body to be able to cast I could not swing my arm I couldn't do anything but I still don't have full range of motion this motion going back actually does put a little strain I have a good feeling about today there is no one on the river but three cars here man it's gonna be great we got almost all the way out there and realized that I forgot my tripod for the camera now, another 10 minute walk back to the car. Oh. <laughs> Things I do keep me from fishing. Oh. All right, so like I was talking before about the lake right up there, turning over, making this all cloudy. You can see it's got maybe, maybe a half a foot of vis visibility. Hopefully that's a good thing. Now, I think it will be, uh, for the trouble I had in the last uh, two episodes. Um, this could be uh, saving grace in a way. So I'm coming up again on Big Rock Hole, and uh, boy, I'm a little nervous and a little excited. The last couple trips have just been a bust. So I'm hoping this time I can actually land a fish. Some of you had uh, wanted me to tell you about what, how I set up my rig. Um, it changes, it definitely changes, but today, so what I'm doing is, I've got a, a, uh, a bubble, one of these uh, thingamabobbers, I think they call them, and maybe about two feet down, this is where I'm starting, I'm gonna move that bobber up and down, uh, depending on the depth, but I've got a split shot here. Uh, this is a pretty heavy one because it's fast moving water. And then I've got a dropper loop. Now, you're not gonna be able to see this uh, fly very well because it is still small, but I got a dropper loop, made a dropper loop here, uh, and then cut off one end of the dropper loop to make another, basically, um, line here, okay? And then I attach my fly onto it with about, you know, six inches to a foot. And then I've got Another split shot to keep this fly down, and then I've got this fly, and this one's about two feet from my other fly. And that's how I'm gonna be fishing it. Right now I'm using two midges, um, both, uh, one is uh, 20, I think 22, the other one's 24. I put the 24 on the bottom, um, and the 22 on top, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go out there and see if I can actually get one. <laughs> Just getting the weeds off my fly. Weeds 
again. And again. And again. And again. Yeah, this sucks. Boy, this is tough. I can't see the bottom. So I have to walk real slowly. But I have a feeling the fish can't see my fly either. It is really mucky. Really, really mucky. And it just feels like they're not, uh, not getting a single bite. And that's rare for out here. It might be too early, really, for this. That's an issue. So I'm going to try... Just like uh, the last episode where I went right in front of Big Rock here. Um, I'm going to try doing that real quick and see if I can't maybe get that same one back with a bigger fly, maybe not lose them. Wait, where am I? Gotta move the camera. Nothing. So I switched to a streamer. I'm gonna go back here to the back side of this uh, rock and see if I can't get one with a streamer. I, I, I'm having a little trouble this morning, but it is early, so um, probably around 10:30 uh, or 11, I'll probably throw back on some nymphs, um, midges, and see if I can't get one that way. But I think streamer is the only way to go right now. So. By this time, I am starting to wonder if I am cursed. Can I just not land fish while filming? Oh, maybe. Nope. Well, after losing my streamer to a rock, I decided to go back to midge fishing. At this point, I feel like this could be another bad day on the river. I haven't had a single take and I am feeling quite discouraged. Then I heard this. Sure sounds like someone is uh, having better day hunting and I am fishing. Now I'm gonna move down a little. There's a few good little spots along here. It's just, it's, it's so mucky. It's really, really dirty water. I just, uh, really dirty. So, I just really ha think that they're having trouble seeing these tiny little, don't know if even that's focused, but these tiny little midges. I don't know if you can see this, guys, but it looks like maybe a beaver. It's pretty cool. After moving down the river a bit and putting on an egg as an attractor, I finally got a take. I realized I needed to move down the stream a bit to land him. As I jumped off the rock and start moving downstream, I wonder if I am still in the camera's view. 
I knew that this was probably going to be my only chance of the day to land a decent fish, and my heart was pounding. As I took two swipes with my net, my heart sank as he ran upstream. Yeah! Finally got one. A beautiful rainbow trout. What's kind of funny is, I got a fly out of that. That guy, uh, not one of mine, I've never fished this fly before, but he took someone else's fly and they lost him. Just like I keep on doing. But I got this one, I got him pegged. He actually, for me, my fly that he bit was uh, this little egg pattern here. That's a, that's a decent sized fly and that's why I was able to uh, keep him pegged. So, finally, the hunting is over finally got a decent sized trout on the San Juan River. I'm gonna take a little break here and I'm gonna get back at it in a few minutes but I, I kind of had a little trouble fighting him I'll, I'll be honest. Um, I just wasn't expecting it. Um, a couple of the, the bites I've gotten on this river have been right when I'm ready to recast. So I'm looking the other direction. I look see where I'm gonna cast and then all of a sudden I go to cast and the hit so I'm dude I'm I'm excited I'm excited I finally got one on camera after I went in for a lunch break I came back out to trout hitting the top of the water at this spot so I threw on a dry fly and tried my luck Alright, so this battery is dying now, and uh, I haven't caught anything at that spot. I'm going to go to one spot over uh, at Texas Hole, it's basically a big giant slow moving hole. I put on a streamer for the slow moving water, however, I wasn't having a whole lot of luck and my arm was really starting to hurt. Meanwhile, next to me, I was watching an old man pulling fish after fish. So I asked what his secret was, and he told me what to do. Before I even had a chance to switch rigs, my camera died. However, my GoPro on my head was still running. And I got this footage of me hooking this good-sized fish, thanks to the kind man fishing next to me. Landed him as well. on the water, finally was able to net a fish. Uh, can't tell you how happy I am. Well, anyway, if you like this uh, sort of thing and you feel I've earned your subscription, please subscribe. I do appreciate it. If I didn't earn it, don't subscribe. I, uh, I plan on making one of these every two weeks. There might be a few gaps here and there, but uh, depending on schedule and whatnot. But I plan on having a fishing video every two weeks. And I also do my fly tying um, videos every week, so every Friday. 
um, and I plan on uploading every Thursday, every other Thursday for my fly fishing. So, fly tying Fridays, fly fishing uh, every other Thursday. So, um, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you on the next video.